Hey everybody, it's Taylor Thomas Smythe, and I know it's been quite a while since I've done one of these videos, but I figured better late than never. I have plenty of ideas for other videos that I am hoping to get to at some point, but my life has had a lot of different changes in the last couple of years that have made it difficult to stay up with producing these videos. Because I try to make them really great quality and that can take a while and take time. It's amazing that we live in this time when we can get such great quality books printed on demand. We don't have to worry about ordering huge shipments of books. You can literally design your book, upload the files and not have to touch it ever again. Um, someone can order your book themselves and the publisher will handle printing it, shipping it and getting it to that person. Uh, and they can just get to enjoy your book and you get the royalties. So I want to share more about that process and what that looks like and what the different options are. Because there are a lot of options out there, also there's been a lot of options that have ebbed and flowed over the years. Um, I'm gonna share with you some of my personal favorites and how I go about printing my books and hopefully this is helpful to you. I will also put kind of chapter markers so you can skip around if you're trying to compare a specific type of book um, that you're considering. Um, hopefully that will make it easier. All right, let's jump in. So I'll give you a more close up view of these in a little bit, but um, basically I wanted to kind of compare different options. So this is, and I'll kind of shine it in the light a little bit. So hopefully you get like a little bit of glare. Um, this is a matte version and the glossy version of Amazon KDP. These are slightly different colors. Um, the matte one is an older version of the cover for my uh, series Kingdom of Florida. And the glossy one is a newer version. Um, one thing I learned in the first iterations of these is that um, I started the book series doing matte covers because, uh, and they were lighter colored covers, they kind of had this watercolor look to the design, and that looked great. But once I got to book four, um, which is when the cover kind of used a darker color, I realized that that didn't translate as well. You couldn't really see the detail of that watercolor texture, which I think is supposed to be present on this one. Um, and it was very, faint detail even on the computer screen so it's not necessarily the printer's fault um, but it kind of looks duller um, so for the new iterations of the covers when I redesigned them this past year I chose to do glossy covers I think that looks a little more professional with this specific color scheme matte covers can also look really professional my personal kind of rule of thumb and I would share this with you is that if you're doing a lighter colored cover matte you can get away with matte finish but if you're doing a darker color, I do not recommend matte finish. I think it makes them look really kind of shoddy and unprofessional, so I'd steer away from that. But these are Amazon KDP paperback, um, which print very great quality interior. Um, they feel exactly like a real book. I always use the cream option, not the white colored paper, the cream colored paper, because um, apparently that's just supposed to be a little easier on the eyes, and also if you're unless you're doing like a textbook or something that's pictures, um, like full color pictures, then you could use white. Otherwise I would stick with the cream color. So this is the matte finish, glossy. I'm pretty sure these colors of the blue are the, supposed to be the same. So you can see it's a little bit darker on this one and a little bit lighter on this one, a little more kind of washed out which is why I decided to change to the glossy covers for this. If you look closely, you can see there's some fingerprints that show up on it, um, but to me it's worth it looking a little more polished. Um, this is just to show kind of different options. Um, this is also Amazon KDP paperback version and uh, of my newest novel, Goldie, which is my new series, A Magic City Wonders. <laughs> A Magic City Wonders novel, part of the Magic City Wonders series. Um, the second book, The Dream Team, is coming out this year. Um, the hardcover version I printed with Ingram Spark, and this is a dust jacket hardcover. I'm incredibly pleased with it. It looks and feels exactly like a professional dust jacket hardcover book should. Um, 
it's probably the most tricky part of it is if you're doing, uh, depending on what you're printing underneath the dust jacket, that can be a little harder to align to like the center in front of the book. Um, for this book, I did, didn't did have any text on the front of the cover, I just on the spine. And uh, the printer usually aligns things to the spine. So that's like the kind of the starting point. So that I've r rarely had that be an issue. Um, but really pleased with that. Um, the colors look very similar in their vibrance and saturation and color as the paperback version from KDP. So that's, I was very pleased that there's not a big variation between these two different printing companies. Um, I've also heard that sometimes Amazon will actually be doing the printing from Ingram Sparks books if you're ordering them through them. I don't know if that's true or not, but I figured I would share it. Um, here we have the KDP paperback version of Goldie, which is my latest novel, award-winning novel. And here is the dust jacket hardcover version from Ingram Spark. Um, they both look amazing on the inside. Um, but one thing I want to show you is the difference in the blacks. Uh, if you do all black, that's what that looks like. And that's what that looks like. A little smoother, um, a little more even color on the paperback KDP version. It's a little bit more crude on, on this one. Um, underneath the dust jacket, we have a glossy um, cover underneath. Um, it looks really nice. The colors also, you know, translated very well. Uh, but this is kind of what it looks like. Also from Ingram Spark was uh, I ordered a matte finish version of a dust jacket hardcover. Um, when you pick the finish for your cover with Ingram Spark, you're kind of committing it's that finish for both the dust jacket and the inside cover. I wish you could kind of pick one and the other. So like do a glossy jacket and a matte interior cover. Unfortunately you can't. So if you click matte, then you're committing to doing a matte finish on both the dust jacket and the, the case laminate cover inside. However, still very pleased with it. Um, it has a really similar quality to the, the KDP matte finish, but I think this is a little bit nicer. It feels a little more high end and maybe it's just cause it's on a dust jacket hardcover, but it feels a little bit more um, fingerprint resistant and all that good stuff. And the last one I'm gonna look at is, <laughs> Sorry, I blanked. The last one I wanna show you is from Lulu which is um, not quite as uh, high quality as Ingram Spark and KDP in my experience. Um, the book itself turned out great. So this is a matte finish from Amazon KDP and uh, it works in a bind. Um, I originally started doing my hardcovers through them because uh, it was you didn't have to pay a setup fee and I just wanted to have a hardcover version for myself of these books because they were something I was proud of, more as like a collector's edition for myself. In my experience, their kind of model for royalties and stuff just doesn't really um, work out as well as some of the other options. So I have not used them to s actually sell books intentionally. Um, these books, these versions, you know, were on sale on their website, but I didn't really push people to buy them because I just, it wasn't a great like royalty rate. But yeah, Lulu is an option. One of the things that sets Lulu apart from the other, from KDP especially, is that you can order kind of a one-off copy. If you just want to create a book for yourself and you don't want to sell it, that's a good option um, because you don't have to list it on their website. You can just order copies for yourself. KDP, you, it's either you're publishing it and the whole world can buy it or nothing. Um, so you can't really, there's no in between. And if you ordered a proof copy, um, from KDP, like it'll have a band across the front, so it's not really gonna work out for a personal copy. This is the matte finish. Feels great. <laughs> Glossy.
Okay, this is not the best example, but these are Lulu's paperback, which I didn't hadn't showed you yet. This is the matte version of Lulu's paperback, and this is not a great example because I intentionally wanted these to look distressed, so I actually damaged this one intentionally. But this is the glossy version. Um, but hopefully this helps at least show you a little bit of what the sheen and shine looks like. Um, they printed very nicely. These are her fun little alternate horror, 80s horror kind of inspired covers I did for The Curse of Coronado, which is the fifth book in my Kingdom of Florida fantasy series. But this does show you a good idea of what the, how the colors look a little different. I did make some tweaks between the two, but the blacks are the same and you can tell that um, it's a little darker and blacker on, and more true to the color on the glossy version, whereas it kind of is a little more muted and kind of grayed out almost on the matte. But if that's what you're looking for, it can work. Like I've said elsewhere, and we'll probably say again in this video, I always recommend glossy covers for darker colors. I think it doesn't translate as well on the matte finish when you're doing a dark color. I'd save the matte finish for any lighter colored books. Um, I did change the color to make this more of a cream, so that's why that's so drastically different. But if you compare the blacks, you can see there's quite a difference. Um, and obviously the shine. Um, all right, so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions about these, I'm happy to answer in the comments. If you have been following my videos for a while, you know that I'm very quick and I uh, try to answer every comment respond to every comment so i'd be happy to do that please comment your questions below if you find videos like this helpful please subscribe it helps me when i know that people are enjoying these videos and finding value in them so i hope you have a great day and and whatever creative projects you're working on that you have great inspiration for them and uh, get to continue to make fun things just a shameless plug for my next book, which is called The Dream Team, part of the Magic City Wonders series. It's the second book in the series. These books are set in the 1980s and they follow a group of people who have superhuman abilities. Um, think of it like Miami Vice meets Marvel. It's really fun and colorful and kind of has this sci-fi twist to it. So uh, I really have loved writing these stories. There's a couple more books coming in the series. Um, but book two is arriving this year. And depending on when you're watching this video, it may be available already. You can learn more at magiccitywonders.com and I'll put a link in the description of this video. Happy creating everyone.